Hey guys, it's Rachel and today we are making these cute little bunny donuts. I haven't made donuts in a long time, probably not since like the Rillicuma donut video and that was a while back as you guys know, it was before I even made this set too. And is it weird that I still have all the Easter decorations out because I really like them and I only got to use them for one video so far. So I just want to keep them up all springtime and I hope that's okay with you guys. But anyways, these donuts are so yummy. They're also lemon flavored too. So even if you don't have a donut pan like I do, you can just bake them in little mini muffin tins and they would still be delicious. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need a cup of flour, along with a half cup of sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then go ahead and give this all a whisk. Next up in a separate bowl, you'll need a half cup of buttermilk, along with two tablespoons of melted butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and of course we're going to need some lemons, so I'm just going to add in the zest of two lemons. Then we're going to cut them in half, and go ahead and juice them too. Today I'm using this really cool lemon juicer. You can also just go old fashioned with the citrus reamer too, and that works just fine. So we're going to add in two tablespoons of our fresh lemon juice. Then we're going to crack in one egg, and give this all a whisk. So now all you have to do is add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, and then mix it all up. This batter smells so good, super fresh and lemony. Then go ahead and load this into a piping bag or a Ziploc bag works too. And to make our donuts, I'm going to be using my Baby Cakes Donut Maker. These are great, I bought them on for about 20 bucks off of Amazon, and I'll leave a link to them in the description box below, but I promise I am not sponsored by them. And you're just going to pipe in your donuts. I find this works best if you try to make your donuts as full as possible. Bake them for about 2-3 to three minutes. I know they look super weird when they come out of the donut maker because the top side doesn't really brown, but I promise they will be cooked all the way through and they taste really yummy too. Now we're going to make a really quick powdered sugar glaze. I'm just going to sift out 1 cup of powdered sugar and then add in 3 tablespoons of milk along with a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we're going to give this all a whisk. And if you have to, add more powdered sugar or more milk so you get a consistency like this. Now we're just going to dip our donuts. You want to dip the not so pretty side into the glaze. Then just shake off the excess. And also pop that little bubble of glaze in the center that tends to form. Then just let these set on a cooling rack. Now you'll want to add a tablespoon of the remaining glaze to two separate bowls. Color one of the bowls pink for the ears and cheeks, and then the other bowl black for the eyes. And now to decorate, I just place the remaining glaze into a piping bag, and I'm going to pipe out two ears. Just kind of make two teardrop shapes. Then we're going to add on the eyes, which are just two black dots. The nose, which is just a little pink dot. Add on the cheeks too. And then I'm going to put a dot of pink into the top of the ears. Then use a toothpick to just kind of drag it out into a teardrop shape. Let the glaze set for about 15 minutes, and that's it. Our bunny donuts are finished, and they look so cute. I almost don't want to eat them because they're so adorable, but I have to admit that I did eat one earlier, and they were really yummy. I love making like lemon desserts like this for this time of year. It's always such a nice, refreshing flavor, and I have tons more ideas for more springtime desserts. My Pinterest board is like full of recipes right now, so if you guys want to see more spring desserts, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and also tell me what your ideas are too, because you guys have awesome ideas. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Click below for my last video and don't forget to subscribe for more cute recipes. Talk to you soon.